Hello and welcome along to Edge Animate with your host Robert Smith. In this part 5 and final part of creating an animated logo, let's have a look what we've got so far. If we play our timeline inside Edge Animate, we have that our little animation and if we want to actually see it in a browser, Apple return or command return, control return on the PC, and because we've got our um, responsive scaling on, you'll notice as we change the size of the browser, it changes with it. Very nice. Okay, but what we want to happen, we want this to happen over and over. We want this loop to happen over and over. And we could do that on the uh, timeline by having a massive long timeline. But Edge Animate ships with a whole lot of scripting language involved in it, much the same as Flash did. Flash had action scripting. Edge Animate has JavaScript to do the magic. So let's have a look at how we can apply some of it. Now, if you're a graphic designer and you, you hear the word code, you run a mile. I understand that. But this is quite simple, and uh, Edge Animate makes it very, very easy to do. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to loop after about, let's make it after, say, six seconds. So I'm going to grab my playback head and drag it to about six seconds like this. Now, you'll notice here you'll have a layer called Actions and a little, um, a little diamond here with some brackets around it. If I put my playback head there and click on this, it'll open up this trigger dialog box. Okay, and it's asking me to insert some code here. Now, I could type that in if I knew what to say, but what I want to do is I want to go to my playback option down here. I want it to play reverse. So in other words, when it gets to six seconds, I want it to play backwards. So if I click on Play Reverse and then double click on the stage, you'll notice it now says Sim.Playback, blah, blah. That doesn't matter what it says, but it's automatically done for you. All it simply means is the timeline will play backwards from six seconds, which is what we want. So I'll just close that down. And I also need another trigger at the start to make it It's something to do with logic. I need a trigger here to tell it the timeline to play. So it'll go through all the, it'll play automatically the first time all the way through to here, then it will come back to here, and I need another trigger to tell it to play again. So if I click on here, make sure my playback head's there, click on trigger like that, click on playback, and this time I want play, and then just double click on stage like that. Now you can't see this inside the browser, it won't work, oh, sorry, inside Edge Animate, like this we can play our timeline, but nothing will happen, the JavaScript doesn't work like that. To actually see it happen, we need to preview it in a browser. And again, we can go to File, Preview in Browser, like this. Or we can um, Command Return, like that. So there it does, this first animation. Gets to six seconds, we'll start to play backwards. And now it should play backwards. Uh, as you can see, it's done that. It's gone back to the start. It actually played the timeline backwards goes back to the start and hits the other trigger which tells it to play again and that's how we create a loop on the timeline so that's going to loop forever and ever okay the magic of edge animate which is if you're a flash developer you'll feel very comfortable in this environment if you're new to it or maybe you're an after effects person the keyframes are much the same you'll feel quite familiar as well and it's great to have this little um, coding or this um, these triggers that enables to do all sorts of fancy stuff Okay, thanks for watching. 